welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be painting the Play-Doh flowers that I, well, kitty dough flowers that I made on Monday. These have dried a little bit more, but I don't think they're going to dry properly and the petals and the leaves keep falling apart. So this isn't the best way to make something if you want to keep it long term. Painting the flowers was kind of difficult because of how tiny I made them, but it was still really fun. I got down into the little crevices, especially of the roses, and I just stippled. And I used water to thin out the paint so that it could blend into the color better. This rose in particular was very hard because I made it taller and it still hasn't dried and it's falling apart and it's leaning one direction and it's very hard to get between all the really close little petals. I mean, I guess it's a good thing that it's still kind of flexible because I can move the petals so that I can get in there, but I also risk like breaking it by doing that. So this one was very tricky. So I just wanted to do this one first and get it over with. My suggestion to you is don't do something this detailed out of Play-Doh or kitty dough or anything of that texture. <laughs> I'm sure this is a lot like Play-Doh where once it dries it'll start cracking in places that you don't want it to crack so it's not going to end up looking good so it's not worth putting the effort into making something out of something of this texture. This blue rose was very pleasing to color because or to paint because all I had to do was add some black inside the petals and that's all I did. I didn't add any highlights. It looked good. This one was pretty fun to color too. Um, at least for the low lights. The highlights kind of made it look a little goofy, but the low lights were really fun. The, sh the shading because of the shape of the petals I think is probably why it was the most fun to paint. This last one wasn't the funnest to paint. It's very boring. I mean, it looks boring by itself anyway, and so painting it didn't really help any. Adding highlights was fun and kind of difficult because I was just adding it to the tips of the petals, and I could only add a little bit of paint at a time, and it's acrylic, so it dries fast. So then I gotta go back and forth between the paint and my cup of water to thin it out, to blend it evenly and a lot of it did not blend very evenly but it still looks okay it still adds some pretty cool texture it's a very a very specific style the outcome painting it like this also remember my dilemma with the uh, pollen in the middle of the flowers I totally forgot that I was gonna be painting the flowers and so I should have just not stressed about it as much as I did because painting it made it a lot better. Highlighting the outside of the petals make them look a lot more cartoony, which is pretty cool. But it's also not very realistic if that's what you're going for. I highly recommend not painting Play-Doh or modeling with Play-Doh. That uh, magic model uh, air dry clay that I used on Sunday and what I painted yesterday what I made the feathers out of that is so fun It completely dried finally and it's just so foamy. It's like a foam toy. It's so cool I highly 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 recommend playing with that stuff. It is so fun Really good to make toys out of like for kids like uh, If you want to make like a kitchen set you could make pancakes and eggs and stuff out of that stuff or something like that You know don't forget to tag me in, on social media if you're following along with this craft. I will pick some random person at the end of the week to send a whole box of clay and play-doh and stuff to. Probably a lot of that air dry clay. That's my favorite. I hope you're having a great day and happy crafting.